Hey Blog Buddies, how you doing? It's really great to be back online after a little break. Um, if winter is really well and truly set in down here. It's cold and grey and wet. Uh, if you're in the States, uh, if you're in New York, happy Pride. I think it's Pride. If you're in Europe, you know, I hope you're having a fantastic summer. If you're in Asia, I hope you're enjoying yourself. Wherever you are in the world, oh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for your support. Today I wanted to talk about the idea of the self-fulfilling prophecy. Basically a self-fulfilling prophecy is something that we think is going to happen and then we make it happen. So it fulfills itself. And it's something that really applies to negative thinking. We'll know about the power of negative thinking. We've all been in situations where we have talked ourselves into failure, where we have talked ourselves into a mistake. And it's not necessarily conscious, but we can get so nervous about something, we can get worked up, we can play over all of the things that can go wrong in our head until eventually we make something happen that's negative. Like, for example, a driving test. Imagine a driving test and feeling so nervous the night before and lying in bed and running over all of the things that could happen, all of the negative things that could go wrong running a stop sign, failing to give way, not indicating, going through a pedestrian crossing, taking a wrong turn, all of those things that play in our head over and over and over because we want to succeed but all we can focus on is the failure and all of the things that can go wrong. And then we wake up in the morning and we're so nervous we skip breakfast and we jump in the car and we head down to do the test. And we're so nervous, we've worked ourselves up into such a lather over all the things that could go wrong, our hands shake on the steering wheel. And we're so, we're so negative about it. Our heart's beating, we're in a sweat, we're not concentrating, and all of a sudden we run a stop sign and we fail. We've talked ourselves into it. We've created the situation. We've created the belief that we're going to fail. And it applies to so many things in our lives, exams, sports, all kinds of things where we get so negative and so worked up about something that we cause it to happen. Now imagine or think about the amount of energy that that takes, the amount of concentration, of purpose of thought that it takes when we think those thoughts and we when we convince ourselves that something's going to go wrong. And imagine if we could apply that same energy and that same purpose of thought to thinking positive things. Imagine if we could apply the belief that we're going to fail and turn it around and turn it into a belief that we could succeed. Imagine if the self-fulfilling prophecy could always be something positive. Imagine if you could always think yourself into success. That's the trick, guys, and that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. Because there's so much belief in us that bad things can happen. Why can't we believe that good things can happen? Anyway guys, that's my rant for today. I hope uh, it's given you something to think about because I really think that, you know, there's so much in life, so many things that we ask for, so many things that we want, and we need to think positively about it. We need to believe that we can achieve it. And once you believe that, then anything's possible because you'll start to ask for the things that you want. You'll start to ask the universe for that job. You'll start to ask the universe for the pay rise. You'll start to ask the universe for the holiday because all of a sudden you're thinking that I can have this and there's nothing wrong with having this and it's totally doable rather than oh, my boss will never give me a pay rise and the economy is going down and we're not doing well in business. Don't think like that. Don't be negative. Apply that energy. Next time you find yourself working yourself up into a frenzy, thinking about all of the things that could go wrong. Take that energy and turn it around and think of all of the incredible things that could go right and all of the incredible things that could come from success. And uh, see how it goes, guys. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, wishing you all happiness, abundance and infinite love. Don't forget that I now have a new Twitter and a new Facebook page, which you can follow. The links will be below. Check out the blog. I love writing and I love your comments and your feedback. And um, I'll see you all next time, guys. Bye.